Yo, K Pace Guy here. What's going on, YouTube? So, right here is Harry Booker, an 18 year old from the UK. This is a bedroom gaming and surround sound setup. What he's using is a PS4 Slim. He has a PC and a Sony HT RT3 for the surround sound. He has a Bush 55 inch television. His monitors are Dell 23 inches, a Viotech 32 inch, and an H24 inch. A Kai vinyl player with a Panasonic SA AKX400 amplifier plus speakers on the wall there. He's using his old amplifier from his granddad. Other equipment is vinyls, Iron Man and Captain America Funk Pop vinyls, Stormtrooper shot glass, Marvel Comet clock, phone stand and coasters, hard drives, headphone amp, Sony headphones, MDR ZX310, his Corsair Void Pro surround gaming headset for his gaming needs of course. And of course the posters are Stormtroopers, The Force Awakens, Star Wars, Rogue One. At the end of this video, he has a nice little light show to show his super cool LEDs.
Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren. Today we're going to be doing a 2019 home theater tour coming up. Before we get into today's tour, if you're into audio and video demos, reviews, media tech, and home theater stuff, this is the channel for you. Alright, so let's begin the today's tour. So here's the front part of my home theater. Uh, I built this screen by myself. It has uh, blackout fabric from Joanne Fabrics. The velvet around the screen is a three inch tape that I just cut into sections there to make it on the uh, screen itself. Uh, quite easy to do, cheap in price. On the left wall here we got some decor from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby. Down here I'm looking to get a, another subwoofer um, to have two subs in the room. About what this room can pretty much handle. My speakers uh, left from right. I'm using a Emotiva Air Moto speaker line. It's the C2, the C1, and another C2. And the reason why I have two C2s instead of towers is because my wife doesn't care for towers and um, she just doesn't want me to get towers, so I opted for this. So this suits my situation. Um, I think I won out on this deal anyhow. Uh, but the uh, stand that I'm using is from Ikea. These are two stands put together. Probably gonna get some Earlax um, foam to put underneath the uh, LCRs here, just to lift them up a little bit. Um, in the drawer here, I keep my Blu-rays, which you've seen in some of my audio demos. The subwoofer I'm using over here in the corner is a Martin Logan uh, Dynamo 300, which is a 150 watts RMS. Uh, it does its job. Probably going to get a second one, like I said before, in the other corner. Posters I'm using right now is the... Indiana Jones, Doctor Who, which I'm a big Doctor Who fan, Star Wars, which pretty much everybody's got Star Wars by now. My furniture is a sectional from Menards. It's got uh, reclines at both ends, two sets of cup holders, two areas of storage. Here is my right surround sound on the side here. It's a Yamo C60, uh, which hopefully I'll get some uh, Emotiva E2s. That's what I'm looking for. My Dark Knight poster here. Some more home decor. Here's my uh, Ghostbusters poster. In the back here, we have the air mode of E1s, which these guys are being phased out right now because the E2s are outselling them. So if you want a pair of these, they're going for about 168 online. So take a look at the Emotiva website. Some more home stuff. Evil Dead lunchbox. I'm a big Evil Dead fan. I like uh, Bruce Campbell quite a bit. There's just another cabinet in the back where I hold my some of my home theater magazines and stuff. Here is the other E1. Some more home stuff. Using a Lutron uh, light system here. I got two of them there. My doors on the theater room is a pocket door here and a regular door over here. Some more home decor stuff. Clock. And my uh, Wizard of Oz poster here. And this shelf here is where I uh, have my Harmony 900 remote control. Probably going to go to the Harmony Hub and probably just use my iPad as a remote. What's in the Blu-ray player right now is Kong, Skull Island, great movie, 
demos coming up soon for that one. And here is my equipment rack I use here. This is a equipment rack built into the wall. I've had somebody from work do this rack for me. The uh, pitcher is being supplied by the uh, Epson A350. Uh, it's a 2010 model. I like this projector quite a bit. It only goes up to 1080p, no 3D video. Um, I'm looking to upgrade to a UHD model. Probably the 5040, which I know it's a, a full K. Uh, but I want to get a 4K, but Sony's and JVC's are a little bit on the high end right now. So I'm just looking for a budget 4K projector. If anyone's got any ideas, leave it down in the comments, please. So here is my equipment rack. Uh, I had someone from work build this rack for me uh, right into the wall. Um, I think it was a good idea. I didn't feel like having a um, rack sitting out in the open, uh, taking more space away from my room. Going from top to bottom, I'm using a Emotiva UPA5 5 channel amplifier. Looking to add on to another uh, 7 channels, I believe, for Atmos. Moving on down, I'm using a uh, Yamaha RXV667. And I'm thinking of getting two uh, receivers in mind. It's a uh, Marantz uh, 6013. Also, I'm looking at a Denon uh, AVR 4500H. Uh, I do know that uh, Emotiva is coming out with a um, uh, receiver sometime this year, so I'm just going to kind of wait and see a little bit as to what they're going to come out with if it's a nine channel amplifier uh, receiver that I'm looking for um, other than that just gotta play the waiting game 